Hello everyone, I'm Naomi Meredith and today I'm going to show you how to set up my robot life cycle station. There are lots of different varieties to this station so you can set this up the same way no matter which kind you have. So the set comes with color and black and white versions of all of the cards and also digital versions as well. So it can meet all your needs in a lot of different ways. There also is a coding unplugged activity that you can assign digitally. So whatever your situation is, this could be a perfect fit for you. If you are doing the robot coding part, you can use any of your favorite robots. These are some I, that I have and also many others. So definitely choose the type of robot that works best for you and for your kids. And then also you will print out the cards in color or black and white of the life cycle. I like to print and cut these out and then laminate them. And then I like to put little Velcro dots on the back and put it on a grid that I've made out of large butcher paper. And then I measured and drew the lines. I know you can buy grids as well. So um, that's a great option for you just to make these more durable. So cut out these cards and then students can use these cards in a variety of ways. So I'm gonna show you um, a few different options. You can use the same cards, some different challenges. So the first challenge is as the teacher, you can place the cards on the mat and then students will code to the, with the robot to show the life cycle that you have in order. The second challenge is you can do this in partners or in teams. So the first set of partners, partner A, will place the cards on the mat and then partner B will code the robot to place the life cycle in the correct order. Um, same one as above, but you can go backwards in the life cycle. If they forget what the order is, I do have included whichever life cycle you have. I have this order, so you can print this out or have it at each station, or you can put it just nice and big on your projected screen or TV. So this is a great reference for them. You can also make it a little more challenging. There is a dice template for you to print and put together. This only takes a couple minutes. I would put them together as a teacher just so you have them ready to go. So print and make these cards. They can place the cards on the grid and then students can start the robot on any spot on the grid. Then just roll one dice and then they code the robot to match the uh, matching part of um, the card and the dice. So they match those together. You can also add two dice so students have the cards laid out and then they roll one dice, that's the first location they go to, and then they roll another dice, that's the second location that they go to. So just to mix it up, if, the, if you choose to laminate your grids, it can mix up the location where they go. So I hope that helps. There's a lot of options for this station to mix it up and keep it exciting and engaging for your students multiple challenges. It's easy to set up and I know that you and your students